friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could be here with me today. I have a fun little project share. This is a new style of folio that I just put together for the Layers of Lace Challenge at the Frilly and Funky Challenge blog. Um, the challenge was to use lace, so I used lace. <laughs> I used this wonderful paper collection from Stamperia called Old Lace. It is, I love the brown, the sepia tones, the wonderful vintage patterns. You get 10 pieces of paper in there and really everything you need to make a project. There are cut aparts and tags and um, all sorts of things. So this is kind of a, well I'll just show you. So this front cover, I used one of the images and I um, my accent color here was um, Tattered Rose Distress Ink. I used um, crackle paint, I used the regular paint, I used the oxide ink um, to kind of add a little color, a little blush. I wanted this to be just kind of blush and sepia. So on the front cover, this is one of the tags from the collection and I just stitched around it, added some rhinestone gems, a little tassel at the top. A cluster of little vintage buttons. This is one of the cut apart flowers that I just spritzed with water, shaped, added stamens to the center, tapped with um, tattered rose ink. This is an old tag. It kind of all got covered up, but this was a clothing tag that I liked the shape of. So I painted this with crackle paint and then stamped on it um, one of Tim Holtz's stamps. I added this sweet little Love and Beloved charm. These are Prima flowers, um, beautiful crocheted lace, one of Tim's little um, sentiment strips, and then this is tied shut with more of that crocheted lace. So this measures, um, the full front is five and a half inches by seven and a half inches, but this tall panel that I've added to the front is four and a quarter by seven and a half. So the base folio is seven, and then this is an extra half inch taller. You can see, I don't know if you can pick it up with the camera, but I did a lot of mixed media over here on the side using my Tattered Rose Distrix Oxide, some stenciling with walnut stain, stamping, and then just very, very light embossing with extra fine gold embossing powder. So this opens out, and in here is just a panel that I stamped and inked and then hand wrote a sentiment. Here's more lace, keeping with the challenge theme. This is a Graphic 45 regular tag that I've scored and folded into a pocket, and there's a, a tea bag and a honey stick in here. So this is the front of the folio. Over on the side, you can see where I added stitching, more lace. I left some of my thread ends and kind of clustered them up just to create that really great shabby chic look. So then this opens this way. And on the top, um, this is a photo folio with a gate fold, more of this beautiful paper. And it opens out on each side. And on each of these wings, I've added one of Tim Holtz's glassine bags. I've had these in my stash forever. I also combined some Primo Love Story papers in with the old lace. These are the 12 by 12 tickets from um, Love Story. And then these glassine pockets fold down. Here is a photo spot. You can put a photo up here. And then in the pockets, I've added some little, let me dig those out, journaling cards from the Love Story collection. You could also put wallet-sized photos inside these glassine bags. And then in the center, I just you glued a um, pocket and added photo mounts with a vintage button, lace, and a belly band. And these just slip right into this pocket. So, and then this closes like this. On the bottom, here's a little flap mechanism that I added with, again, some of this beautiful old lace paper, a little sticker from the Primo Love Story. And then on this side of the flap, I've created a little pullout page. So this little um, circle icon is from Old Lace. And then this is one of the cut aparts, and I've just scored this and folded it to tuck back behind here. And of course, you can put a photo here. You can add hidden journaling here or photos, whatever you wish. And then this just tucks 
into this part of the flap. And I will tell you, I did not do a tutorial for this. I just, I don't have time to do a tutorial for everything, but I did take a picture of the folio base and I'll add that in um, one of the last pictures with measurements so that you can kind of create the folio if you wish. So then here's another pocket and inside this I've created a little gift card wallet. This is a really cool element from the collection. Um, this is an actual envelope that you just cut out from the collection and, and then just score on the lines and fold. This is held shut with a bit more of lace and then inside here I created, this is a real vintage button card um, that was missing the buttons. I picked this up at a flea market or a yard sale and then I just added vintage buttons from my stash, more lace, another Prima flower. Again, room for journaling here, a little chocolate treat because this collection just seemed to call for chocolate. Um, you could also fit more photos inside this envelope because it measures from fold to fold five and a quarter by four. So you could easily put three by five photos and store them in here. I just think this is such a lovely keepsake. Wouldn't this be a beautiful bridal shower gift or a really fun project for a um, bridesmaids weekend. You could put together all your photos from the event. This would be beautiful for birthday, anniversary. It's just got such a great vintage romantic feel. It's such a fun format. I love the way everything just kind of closes up and it's this neat tidy little bundle. This would be beautiful displayed in your bedroom or on a shelf. Um, so that's basically the project. Stay tuned. I will provide um, a list of all the materials I used to make this at the end of the video, as well as the photo of the base so that you can kind of build your own. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you play along in this fun challenge at the Frilly and Funky Challenge blog. And I am going to go get...